Wait, Charles is way too low right now. Hold on. Right about there. Looking good, Charlie. Anyway, YouTube family, welcome back. If you're brand new here, I'm Devin on deck. I talk about fashion and tech, and this video is actually about both things. So even if you don't care about fashion or style, you're still gonna get a lot of great tools to use on how to take better pictures indoors and from your phone. We're covering sneaker selfies, full outfits, and lifestyle photos. And for every category, you're gonna have different lighting techniques and posing ideas. And stick around to the very end for my Instagram people. I've been able to double my engagement over this time, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it with photos just like these. Oh, I'm a pretty man. Oh, that's a ugly style. Okay, now as we get into these photos, there are three things you gotta remember for every single photo, the same three steps. First, find the light. Two, test the shot. And three, clean the spot. Because I know your spot not clean right now, my apartment's not clean, we're all in quarantine right now, so it's okay. No pressure to clean your whole spot, just clean the area in which you're going to shoot, you feel me? Now let's talk about the footwear selfie. Now no matter if you like sneakers, boots, whatever your thing is, this is a very common type of photo for the fashion community, and it's really just about showing your shoe, and for bonus points, also your outfit. Now for this example, I'm gonna go with the reflection shot, so I'm grabbing my mirror out of my room and taking it over to my kitchen where I have the best light. And what usually works for me is if I put the back of the mirror to the light source, so I put it against the sun, so the sun is shining directly on me as the subject, but when I took a couple test shots, it didn't really work out the way I wanted it to. It was almost too much distraction in the background. A simpler solution was just to change the direction I was sitting. And since I had nothing to lean the mirror on safely in that direction, I asked my beautiful wife to come and help me out and she was very gracious and held the mirror for me. And here's how the photo started coming out. This is the one that I narrowed it down to and here's how it looks after the edit. And if you wanna learn how I edit my photos from my phone to get this monochrome aesthetic, I would put little card up here and a link down below in the description if you want to check it out. So now let's move on to full outfit photos. Now my recommendation when it comes to shooting full outfits indoors is to take a seat. Because not only do you look more natural, because when people are at home, they're just chilling, right? So you want to look comfortable in your space. So find yourself a couch, an armrest, a random chair to sit on. And in this situation, I'm going to actually sit on my kitchen table. And for this particular example, I'm going to be using my studio lights. These are the same ones that I film with every time you see a video from me. And they're a great option if your place has no sunlight or if it's too late in the day to really get some good light coming in. And in case you're not sure what you're looking at right now, I'm setting a timer on my phone with a miniature tripod so I can take a photo of myself with no one's help. And if you haven't seen my tutorial on that, I put a little card here at the top of the screen as well as links down below in the description. And even though this test shot came out terribly, you see very clearly in the background, I got a lot of stuff on my counter and I don't want anything distracting you from this fire fit. So I cleaned the spot just like I told y'all, cleared off my counter completely. And after a few more tries, I narrowed it down to this photo and here's how it looks after the edit. Now last but not least, let's talk about lifestyle pictures. Now these are the kind of photos that really show who you are as a person. Whether you have a favorite drink, maybe a favorite accessory that means something special to you, or even a hobby, maybe you're a collector. And for this particular example, I'm gonna show my lifestyle as a gamer. So here's the corner that I wanna shoot in, and even after opening the blinds and letting all the light in, I saw that it was still a little dark, I wasn't getting enough light coming from the right side, so I pulled out my secret weapon my handy dandy reflector and as you can see big things do come in small packages now watch what happens as I take this reflector over and I go to take the photo again and when I turn it to bounce the sunlight boom now the photo is fully lit and it's time to start shooting and after I found a few shots I liked this is the one that I narrowed it down to and here's how it looks after the edit. If you wanna know where I found this reflector, it's like 18 bucks from Amazon. I'll link it down below for you so you can check it out. Now moving on to the Instagram pro tips for higher engagement. Now whether or not you're an influencer, it's really important that during this time we support each other in any way we can. Right now it's very rare for us to all be experiencing the same things and no matter who you 
you are, how much money you have, you ain't supposed to be going nowhere. But it gives us the perfect opportunity to connect with each other like humans. And like I always tell y'all, social media is more social than it is media. So the one skill you wanna grow in is your storytelling. Now, if you look at my Instagram right now, all the photos that I've shown you in this video are live right now. And I strongly suggest you look at the captions. When it came to this full outfit photo on my kitchen table, look at the photo I chose. I look very bored at home and I even put for the location tag, bored at home, because I know a lot of people right now are feeling me on that, not being able to go anywhere. That is a human fact that we're all dealing with. So if you want to step up your game, you want to engage people better, you want to have more comments, more likes, you want to work in your storytelling, you want to work on being an actual human and you'll go further. And that's all I got to say about that. Now, before you get out of here, make sure you leave a thumbs up on this video if it was useful information for you. It does help on my channel tremendously. And if you haven't subscribed here yet, this is the perfect balance. If you haven't realized yet, between fashion and tech, smart, casual style, and how to take better photos, how to edit better, and also how to have more confidence in yourself, and also grooming and lifestyle and stuff like that. So if that sounds good to you, hit that sub button, hit that bell icon, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.